Hello everyone, my name is Roger Stromkowski and I am a solutions engineer here at SnapLogic. Today I want to talk to you about how to install a GroundPlex through a Debian based Linux distribution. Uh, for this demonstration I will be using a Ubuntu instance in AWS. As you can see from my terminal session here, I'm already SS staged into that node so we won't be talking about that aspect of things. Uh, but once we are SSH'd into the node, one of the first things we want to do is we want to verify if we have the zip package installed. Uh, so we can see in this case that I have bzip2, gzip, and unzip, but I do not have zip. So what we're going to do first is we will do a apt-get install for the zip package. And now that we have that, the next step would be to download the SnapLogic installer. Uh, so if we check right now, we can see that in my current directory, I do not have any files. So what I want to do is back inside my SnapLogic UI, I'm in the org where I want to install this node, and I've traversed through Manager, the shared folder, and this could be a shared folder in a different project space for you, or all the way up in the highest level shared folder right under project spaces. But then it's, we're going to go to SnapLexes, click the name of the SnapLex, and go to the Downloads tab. You will need to be a org administrator to get this far. If you are not an org administrator, the chances are you will not see all these tabs or even the SnapLex. So once I'm here and I want the Debian installer, I can go ahead and click on the copy icon. I can come back to my terminal window and I can do a wget on that location. So now we are fetching the installer Debian file. And while that's happening, I want to talk about the next item that we're going to need, which is our configuration file. These configuration files are unique per SnapLex, so it's not something that you can just rename and move over between nodes or anything like that. The name of the file is also important, so we can't change that once it's uh, set up and downloaded unless you come into the settings tab and make a change there. Now, due to the fact that these URLs have a time-based token and some other query parameters, they don't tend to play very nicely with wget or curl. So what I usually do is download this. I also retain it on my drive for simplicity. So what I'm going to do is show you how you can move that file in using SCP. So I've got SCP set up. I'm doing my identity with my PEM file into my node. Uh, the rest is just the connection information from AWS. And then I'm going to my home slash Ubuntu folder. So if we just double check here, that's where we're at. And now if we go ahead and run this, we're going to move that configuration file up. And now if we take a look here on what we have, we'll see that we have two files. We have our configuration file and our installer. So the next step would be to do a install on the SnapLogic Sidekick file. And one of the things that this is going to do is it's going to set up the folder structure for us, which will be under slash opt slash SnapLogic. And underneath that will be a etc folder for our configuration files, which is where we're going to move that slpropz file once this installer is done. So now what we will do is we will do a sudo cp because we need to have that to get into that configuration directory under SnapLogic. And I want to move that file into this folder. So again, that's going to be moving our configuration file into slash opt slash SnapLogic slash etc. Well, once that is done, we do not need to install Java on a Linux node. So just so I can show you that for sure, let me show you that the, the JRE is available under this directory. So we do have JDK, uh, OpenJDK 11 on here. So now what our next step would be would be to start this instance. And for that, we can go this directory and we can do jcc.sh start. Now the first time that the SnapLogic SnapLex starts up, we will generate some keys and get everything running. And if I look over here inside of my GroundPlex, we can see that I currently have no nodes. And if we wait just a moment here, we're going to see that the node will show up. After a short pause, here we go. We can see that the node is online. Uh, if I just pull up my terminal window again, you'll be able to see that we have the IP that we were working here, 172.3.1.0.2.6, and that matches our host name here. 
So we can see that our node is online now inside of SnapLogic and is ready for action.